once you get that one you will get option called lab view and multi sim so you need to press the lab view once you will press the lab view it will open like this here this is called lab view window in this lab view window there are uh, many files you can see create project open existing these are all the projects which i have did uh, previously and for right now we are in a phase of starting the one we should take blank vi this is a blank virtual instrumentation project double click on blank vi it will open a file like this these two files one file is these two windows one window is called the front panel other window is called the block diagram these two windows you can observe here this is the one where we can see all the values this is the one where which is behind the process and everything is doing here for time being i would like to take into two tiles half of this one is uh, half of this screen should be my front panel half of this should be the block diagram for this there is a shortcut called control t if you press control t it will automatically go to half and half that option can we can find by click on the window and here tile left and right control t and if you want to go up and down as well you can press up and down but i am prefer to go in left and right after pressing this left and right i would like to change i would like to execute a small project here that is converting degree centigrade to kelvin in degree centigrade to kelvin here i can convert by using you know already the formula is there degree centigrade is equal to 274.14 plus degree centigrade sorry kelvin whatever the kelvin temperature you required is equal to the sum of degree centigrade plus 274.14 hence there are two things in this one i require one is 274.14 constant i should add with degree temperature whatever i am giving as input so here i am having one constant one input and i would like to see the temperature in one window and one arithmetic operator for this i can press i can see here right click onto this right click onto the block diagram you can find the numeric take add one because we we need to add two parameters and drag it here after dragging here you you would like to enter the enter the temperature in degree centigrade hence you can take a numeric controller as the input temperature or you may take thermometer as that up to you once you press the thermo i am prefer to take thermometer select the thermometer and increase the size of the thermometer as you like and change it as degree centigrade once you change the degree centigrade automatically here also it will changes if you want to change the if you want to see how much temperature it is we are giving input output here we can check but in order to see exactly you should have digital display so right click visible items digital display automatically display will come here if you are not liking this color just go right click properties after this go to appearance fill color you may go to some green okay and even if you want to change i'll show after going properties scale also you can change from 10 to 100 or whatever the scale range you require you can change the scale you want to scale inverted scale you want to go for logarithmic scale that's up to you and you can change the color whatever the color you required major tick may be the red color minor tick may be the uh, orange color and this tick may be the red color i can i can do whatever i want and press it okay after getting okay this is this is not what we are giving temperature so we should change it to control change it to control control is the one we can give the temperature this control and we should add 274.14 so right click on this create constant add 274.14 and click on the centigrade you can observe a, a wire kind of structure here add it and then you want to see so hence i should add a numeric 
go to indicator place here this is say uh, Kelvin now click here press here now these values are come suppose for my input temperature of 24.0175 degree what will be the Kelvin I would like to see hence I, can, I should go for the run button if I run here I am getting 298.157 Kelvin if I want to change again I should run so this is a hectic process to go on changing hence the loop should be run for forever hence this is a graphical programming there is a loop called while loop here go to right click on the system structures take a while loop drag it here and here you want you would like to stop the while loop for some time after some time right so here this is a loop condition right click on this loop condition create a control you will get a stop button here now see the change now you run the program once you run the program you go on changing this will not stop you go on changing it will not stop so we go on changing the values are changing the degree Kelvin is coming everything is coming and it will not change so this is the beauty of the while loop then stop it after stopping it if you want to see if, if it is a small program yes you can shift here and there but if it is a big program it is very difficult for you to shift each and everything hence you go for option called clean up selection select all these things and you clean up so automatically it will clean up everything after go for save open new new file new and save save it so that's it for today and this like this you need to continue for to preserve measurement for remaining thing I have already shared that VA file with you once you go for the preserve measurement you can easily get everything there if you have any doubts please uh, open I am open to discuss in the news forum and uh, or you can free to mail me thank you thank you for watching this video